I mean, there were. What's, what's uh? Sorry, I'm still correcting some things on the title here because it okay. still got set up for tabletop RPGs, which is not accurate. But uh, yeah, the the, the, the some of the problems with us uh, figuring out the rules was a bit annoying because like I. I was trying to tell some people how things were supposed to be done, but people were louder than me. But also, like, some certain things I didn't know, because the Kingmaker rules are just really not easily accessed. You get way too much of the video game. It's just, it's so much more prevalent than the actual tabletop, and I guess that's understandable, because yeah. as, a, as a hex crawler, uh, it is more interesting as a video game than an actual tabletop. But that's why there's going to be other supplementary things to go on in there, like the fact that there is role-playing, or the fact that what we're doing isn't at all close to what the um, actual Pathfinder adventure, yeah, adventure yeah. yeah. But, I mean, ignoring that, it's, it's, yeah, there were, there were certain things that... That's cool. Yeah, it was good that we looked at the rules together, like you said, because that way everybody was on the same kind of page. But, uh, I mean, like, the, the normal role-playing stuff, for the most part, it was, you know, it's normal, we were used to it, it went well, we had a laugh, good role-playing, good hustle out there, team. But, uh, <laughs> the, the actual kingmaker I mean... There are some things people were uh, misunderstanding. Uh, for example, Pat was drawing squares in the darkness, saying where he wanted the exploration team to go. And because he drew three squares and used the word teams, from what I heard, again, I might have misunderstood him. There was six people yelling at each other in there. I assumed yeah. he sent three individual teams out. But uh, no, he just uh, meant to do one. But that was, eh, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, I give you guys more than enough gold than what you're supposed to start off with. But also, it's the fact that I gave you that in the assumption that people would make mistakes, and in that case, that's my bad. So I'm, I'm still defending my <laughs> my mistake. We, we, we understand. It's on on our side. We thought of this as also helping you, so you yes, didn't have to good. learn about all of the rules. Like, cause we know we you. Um, so at least we at least shared a bit of the pain. Yeah, we shared the pain, all right. Yeah, we're all a bit of pain in the ass. But, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I think generally, I to to be fair, when we started looking at the rules, I wasn't expecting us to finish the first year in the first session. Well, the turns are months, so it, it, things fly by fast. Yeah, no, I understand, but um, again, we were busy trying to discover what uh, what we wanted to do, and we had more discussions about things we have in the future, more on the planning out phase than actually doing. Like, we were trying not to do any blind moves, yeah. so we don't lose too much. That is what extended instead of twelve months, we did eight months, which is which is still not bad. For us, I got that as a win, David. <laughs> yeah, we we'll do better next session. This I I'm never gonna use these things. Fine, okay. If we can get better items now, Joe. Uh, what? We can buy better items now. I am Codex. The guy in the want corner... Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks friendly. Oh, okay. Greetings, Codex. I am General Elliot of Runefaust. Will you listen to me? Yeah, sure. Good. For what I have to say should interest you. Runefoss has been corrupted by Darksoul. He came from nowhere to sway our king. Darksoul told King Ramladu that the world would be his to rule forever. All he needed was the legacy of the ancients. Darksoul claimed... Oh, there's a comment on a period. Our king listened. 
Though I hate Dark Soul and his plans, I am a loyal subject of King Romladu. When we meet next, Codex will be on the battlefield. Our king is fully under Dark Soul's influence. All this welfare, all this welfare is Dark. All this warfare is Dark Soul's doing. Jesus. If you defeat me in battle, please free Rune Falls from Dark Soul's clutches. Everyone shoves me. But <laughs> it's just the land of rude people. And yeah. Hey. Oh, Faust, Gardenia, the Ancients, I can't worry about such things. Thanks for your item! Let's buy better stuff! Why buy better stuff when we can steal it? Fair enough. No one else uses swords in my army, right? Hello. Yeah, I thought that sprite looked unique. I am Queen Corin. Have you enjoyed your visit? I think yeah. we're ready to leave. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not done. Don't. No. Yeah. Don't leave. No. No. <laughs> I wasn't done. <laughs> I barely visited anything. Before we leave, I'm stealing your stuff. No! <laughs> Legs of haste. Do, do you want me to go check what it does? I can almost guarantee that this... It gives speed? Yeah, or agility. I mean... Like, who truly needs it? The engine driver decides where we stop every day. It's a mystery to the rest of us. The wizards? Well, let's not be rude to our visitor. Is it okay with you if we move along? It sure as hell isn't. <laughs> Thank God that's an option. Hello, you need to right? I am Ernest. Balbazak destroyed my zone. I want revenge. Join me. No, no, no. No, no, no. Join me. Yes, you want revenge. Join me. Alright, that's not happening. Okay, so... Who wants revenge? This centaur person. I'm almost sure this is centaur. Let's check again. Yeah, that's a centaur. <laughs> we traveled all over Pow Prairie and we're getting ready to leave right now. God, no. I think we missed some characters because I just didn't harass them enough. We travel all over Pau Perry. We're gonna oh, do the guards all just say that now? Wait, what did uh, I do? Sorry. You can hold on to that. A part of life? We're cramming those all into Ken, right? <laughs> No, we should probably get some more. Gord! He truly needs it. Or, or, David, hear me out. You can give it to Xylo and just have him be immortal. Arguably, I should get it because I need all the health I can get. True. Uh. Okay. Okay, David. Here he is. Information on Ernest. You first meet him, Pow. He rambles about getting revenge on Balbazak. He joins you when you see him uh, again in Uraba a Battle. Yeah, who knows where that is? Uh... <laughs> uh, right before the battle against uh, Balbazak. So yeah, he basically joins you right before you fight Balbazak. <laughs> okay, I got that spear you wanted. Nice. Uh, yeah, it says here that Ernest is one of the stronger centaurs. Eh, we'll find out. 
Oh yeah, I've now seen the the. Oh yeah, okay, the guy Torasu that will eventually get the healer that has the thing that Low can also do at higher levels of just healing everyone. Oh, it's called the pow the pow prairie because the sheep's go pow. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is a uh, oversight in the game. Can you walk back down here, priest? Uh. Thank you. <laughs> is anyone dead? Yes, someone is, yeah. Who? Low. Oh, so no one. I don't know how you expect us to get to the end game when everyone's dying, Joe. I'm pretty sure I visited but, everything then. David, no one died. I mean, no one of importance died. People die all the time, Joe. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can go to that website to see how many people have died today, but I don't think you want to. Because nothing says family friendly like that. Oh, uh, so yeah. the, the town just. That's a fu- Oh, hey, what the heck? Hey, Tom's you... gone! My name is Vonkner. Did you hear about me and Pow? I say no, are you not gonna join me? <laughs> good, good, I was pretty famous there, but now I'm looking for adventure. I heard about you and Pow. I'm joining up. No, no, don't thank me, it's my pleasure. <laughs> it's uh, a norm to be suppose he's. I suppose he's, like, really bad. Uh, let me see... Hey, he's a he's a middle of the road centaur. Are you looking at like there's so many guys out there, Joe? I'm pretty sure none of them are like accurate. I mean, eh. I think this is uh, where I usually get yogurt. By the way, I just messed up the thing and I can't get him. Yeah. By by the way, uh, one thing this guy says because again, I don't know if any of these guys are. But you might want to compare May with other the other centaurs. Yeah, I think you see that blue square up there. Yeah. I think that's where yogurt is supposed to be. If I didn't screw things up. So nothing of importance was lost. Yeah, great. that's fair. <laughs> yogurt is great, David. There's no reason <laughs> to actually get him. Yeah. I also think I screwed that's up getting the uh, lancer man. The um, flying yeah, boy. This is a hell of a map. Yeah. Can this map be any bigger? <laughs> well, David, he's said to be the finest swordsman. You know what to do. Send in Xylo. As a kid, I remember there being like a bunch more units, like in this middle area. Like, they had, like, an actual army ready. What, does it feel underwhelming? Well, there's gonna be, like, seven turns of people running at each other, so a little. <laughs> then again, what are- oh, wait, is there a hidden area back here? No, there's not. Wow. I should've equipped Pele, right? What? That, uh, the mercenary that Runefoss chucked off a cliff. Uh, yeah, probably like for me or something of the sort. Yeah, let me. Right. <laughs> the thing, yeah, I'm basing ev like, I'm basing what I'm doing from the same guy, so I don't have like any conflicting information. Yeah, that same guy that's just like, Pele is the greatest character ever because he looks so cool. <laughs> uh, uh, he. He's just say that he's a pretty good, one of the better centaurs. Like, if I was writing a guide, you shouldn't trust what I say about Gong. So. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, this is the thing. Pele and Ernest seem to be some of the better centaurs. The, the thing is, they're, every, every one of them don't seem to have like that special of stats. It's just that it seems that they have like a bit better stats. 
that's it. Like, there's no big difference. There's just little differences. Mm. Yeah. The only thing that this guy's saying is that May is technically worse than most of them. How is that possible? May's father is the greatest warrior in all of Gorgonia. Yeah, May's father is. We've seen enough anime, we know that fighting is hereditary. You can't see me looking at you right now. <laughs> but you know it's true. <laughs> Except it's not. Naruto is strong because his father was strong. <sighs> I lost a lot of people just now. <laughs> you lost your one viewer, me. There's someone else in here and I just checked and they disappeared when I said that. Oh real no. You remember no, I'm... we've been at we've been at forty two for a while. Forty two? What are you talking about? People that have viewed this. Like uh, when, when okay, uh, what I was I referring see... to the number of people in the chat room. Oh, uh, that's me. Yeah, there was a number, <laughs> when it says two, I'm not counted. It's one at the moment. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is like, but who have seen this? It's 42, and it has been 42 for a while. So if someone leaving doesn't make the view count go down. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, no one actually entered, because when I entered, I've been alone. Since I've entered. We'll just ignore my little streamer tool that tells me what numbers are then. <laughs> yes. Then I maybe I'm blind. Then you fucking. I mean, it's a really pointless thing to argue about. I'm just squinting at you, like Joe. I have like a little device here. I have a clicker clacker. <laughs> I reject science. No, not really. But um, uh, well, at least he only has silver knights, David. Not even room fast knight. What's the silver knight yeah, stronger? Last time we joked about that they were weaker. Yeah, but for some reason they're stronger. <laughs> for some goddamn reason. Because I'm almost sure. have also gotten a spear. I did buy a better spear. For May? No, May, did, May uses lances. They're the same weapon. In, like, for stats wise, they're the same thing. No, no, no. Ken Spearman. <laughs> God damn it, David. Um, so yeah, what uh, nonsense was there to talk about, Joe? What's on our itinerary? Uh, well, you can talk more about boners. We have the pirate game we just made, which was uh, there. Let's see. That's the thing, we've been doing this pretty often. So I assure you, there's, oh. there's plenty of nonsense we can talk about, though. Oh no, I know, but it's one of those things that will eventually come to me, uh, but I can't just, out of nowhere, just like, now I know what to talk about. How about we talk about you? Oh, how about we talk about No, no, that, that, that's bad. I don't want to give you, I don't want to give you five more dollars. <laughs> Are we talking about your favorite kind of beers, like Ebola Plus? <laughs> exactly. And now, and now people are being tested in America now. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, uh, this, this thing will probably go on for a lot longer, so I need to get a new game to entertain myself. Oh yeah, how have you been doing in Niyakune? Oh, um, I haven't, I think it'd be, uh, between the last stream, I think I haven't played more. <laughs> what do you mean you think? It's been like three days, uh, do you know if you've played or not? 
Oh my god. I probably did. Just, oh, or if I did, it was nothing important, just like, uh... I'm, I'm take fearful care of the for city. your memory, Joe. I'm not sure that. No, it, it's just it's just one of those things that uh, between our last, I might have played like an hour, nothing more, <laughs> nothing to talk about. How about the uh, the new what's what's the new game? Uh, Doom Eternal. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, um, so since the first Doom, I've never played any. Okay, and don't care much for this. Thing. New Horizons. <laughs> Tom Nuke is still lynching us for money. Proceed. <laughs> Animal Eternal. Doom Horizons. Doom Horizons. Oh, I am going to teach some people how to play Pathfinder, so I have to fear my life for that. Oh, yeah, there's something. Are these people in your town, or is it more people online? I mean... It's going to be online because of the current situation, but yes, it's well, the yeah. people I play uh, in, in person with. I was about to say, I play in people with. I play in people with. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, it, I think it's going to be fun. One of them wants to be a summoner, and we've got a summoner, a rogue, and a witch. That's a... Something. I, like what kind of summoner? Are we to... talking like Edelon Summoner or? Edelon Summoner. Okay. You know what's that's bothering me? What the heck is this crab thing? Uh, Artillery. Uh. Oh. <coughs> oh. That's bad. The fact that there are guns? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not great. The fact that he has a turret. Ugh. I don't want my bird boy to get exploded. So I'll put me here instead. Um. I can finish this. Uh. Game. You probably can. Alright. Come on. No, no, I can finish this. <laughs> you need a better sword. I do have a better sword. Then you just can't be up front then. Look at Xylo, preparing things for the level ones to get. <coughs> or Ken. Um. <laughs> As soon as he hits level 15. Yeah, we, we chuck him away. We make him a better boy. Uh... So yeah, what's the plot of your game, Joe? Oh, it's going to be something pretty simple, because I it's going to be like a, a mission uh, and, uh, probably, like, uh, fighting a bunch of kobolds to kill a wormling that's still hatching. The world is more of, uh, dragons versus the humanoid races kind of thing. Hmm. But metallics are a rare thing, a rare breed now, and so, uh, the chromatics have decided to try to take the civilizations by storm. It's just a little introduction thing. It's not supposed to be a full campaign. It seems like you have enough interesting things to go on there that it's the basis for a campaign. No, oh, yes. Yeah. So I always like to have a basis for a campaign for if people like to continue in the future. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to overthink it because this is all I need for now. Like, if they actually like, yes, we like the system, let us continue this. I can simply make it, but until then, it's just uh, a basis of what I want to do, because I, I might even change ideas, so I don't want to just try ideas and start changing immediately. Hmm. Um, what level are they again? Oh, um, you three? Three, okay. So enough that you won't accidentally murder them. 
Yeah, I, I, this is the thing, I'm going to help them make the character. Like, personally, I'm not... Like what you did to me in my first character. Mm. I'm just going to do it, like, during the first four days of the week, and then we play Friday a couple hours before our game. Now, not that it's important, but I'm curious now. Are these people... What, how gains a heat axe? What? Heat axe? This is probably a spell. I hope it is. If it's an axe, then Gort has it. Yeah, it's an axe for Gort. Yay, Gort. <coughs> but you were saying? Yeah, uh... Are these people younger or older than you? Or about the same age? Older. Older? Okay. Because I, I know, like, you're younger uh, than me, so... <coughs> I'm, I'm 20, so... Yeah, you're younger than me. So, both, uh, two of them are 22, and one of them is, like, 29. Alright. Not that it's important or anything, I'm just curious if you're, like... I got you hooked when you were young, now I'm gonna... No, you're doing the same thing where drug pushers for taking... I chose my group, so... I chose my group. <laughs> yeah, no, because, as I said, I started playing in the store, and I, I, like, the, like, four months I played, I played with, like, 30 different people. I just picked up, like, the seven people that came more often and were better about stuff that didn't seem to conflict as much. It, uh, it must be nice to get that kind of choice. Well, to get that kind of choice, you have to do a couple games that's two for 11 people. Yeah, I know. That's what broke me. You had a... Wait, did you say you GM'd for 11 people, or are you... Yeah, GM at the same time for 11 people. Hmm. Horrible. Yeah. That's when I was doing the thing that uh, I was telling you, the Minotaur maze, because I needed something simple. Hmm. I'm sorry, Gong got heal level 2 before anyone else. That's because he's gone. Yeah. MVP. He can both fight and heal. That's that's what he says. That's true, yeah. Lo, Lo really needs to up his damage there. Lo should leave the party. I don't know he's still there. Goodbye, Henri. Oh! She I'll resisted death. I'll save you. Because you know it's going to be its turn immediately if I don't. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, but yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I played for 11. There were, there was PvP and stuff involved too, so. Arguably, doesn't that make it way worse? Like, people can't be trusted like that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, the, he was a problem player. Oh, PvP like that. I thought you were saying, like, PvP was allowed or encouraged. No, it's, it's worse than that, because yeah. it wasn't even allowed or encouraged. He, it was purely that he uh, somewhat, like, wanted to do stupid stuff that no one else wanted to do. Yeah. Like, my players are, like, you know that, uh... Some groups get traumatized at doors and stuff because they get stuck. Yeah. My mines are traumatized with wells. Because this guy stupidly went into a well. And Timmy got without stuck check. In a wall. Uh basically the well had a, a noose that becomes invisible in water. Sorry, what was oh an ooze. Sorry, I was yeah, like that the news becomes invisible in water. I'm like, what a political statement, Joe. But, um, but, but yeah, we we need uh, we basically we need uh, we needed more. Oh no, you basically just jumped into the well without checking for anything. Uh, and tried to search for treasure in there, because he like he saw something glint. 
So he went without telling anyone. Went in there, almost died. Two people almost died trying to save him. Then they fought the ooze. Uh, then is like basically something did something bad uh, against him. like something did something not very good against him and he punched him. So a oh, little PvP. Someone you see, you're saying something like. Never mind, just keep going. Yeah, one of the other players, like, did something that he, like, didn't like very much and punched him for damage. So that person knocked him out. So, uh, but the problem is, he knocked him out in front of... He was a ranger with the, like, animal companion thing. So, basically, the animal companion started fighting the party members. And the party ended up killing the animal companion. Because he wouldn't stop because it was a boar with rage and stuff. Huh. Was that so your doing or was that the person saying, my dude does that, or is that just... The, the person. Okay. That was... Alright. I have enough things to control. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, eventually... Yeah, eventually he, he got... It, there was even more PvP, there was a... a there, there was a standoff even. Lots of things happened, really. And uh, I... Basically, after that session, I did a couple more with them. But uh, I started planning my game on the background. Preparing them. Grooming them for the ultimate PvP experience. No, I was just inviting the people I wanted to yeah. play with more. Seeing yeah, who, who, who came more. Because the game, like, the story for the game wasn't even mine, David. Yeah, it's a module, I'm sure. No, it was another DM All right. that started this. He, GM, he said that th this was going to be a group of GM. Then he did the first session of this, uh, basically, story. And then he never GM'd again, and the other people that were going to GM quit. So I was the only GM for the, uh, for the store, except for one guy that finished a module and then disappeared from the, planet, the, the face of the Earth. These aren't like warning signs to you, you're just like, this is normal. <laughs> no, I knew this was bad, it's just, it's my only way to play the end in person, so... Yeah, I know. Because I was told, like, you could you can be a player! Also, what a like, what a exemplary number to be like the GM life because for you to be like I was the only GM in a store of twenty people. Yeah, no, the thing is, the store is super small, David. They had the eleven people. Hmm. You said they had eleven people GM uh, playing under you. Yes, there was the only because the thing is, there's only one ta like there's like two tables, but the eleven people were bustling that room. I'll explain more or less. It was in a sh in a, a mall, David. You know those mall stores? We have like a back room. Hmm. Like, like the small back room. I mean, it's not like I hang out in that many mall stores, to be fair. Okay. I can, uh, I can imagine. Yeah. It's like uh, something outside. It's like something that's like five feet for twelve, a uh, five feet for twelve feet rectangle. That's right. No, that's it's more. That's too short. Or no. I'm now. <sighs> Basically, eleven people. David was clamoring in that room. We couldn't have any one more person. Like, it would, it, that person would have to stay standing. Hmm. But that was the back like, room for the actual, like, playing because, of games, rather than... Yeah, because the front of the stores was, like, one side RC, the other side is tabletop games. And then, the, like, there's the counter, which has the card. Like, it had the, the painting of minis, some minis it has now, because we started playing there. 
just so you get to understand how this this store was not used to this they started bringing minis david because i asked them oh the store stocked minis for you yes what's well, still nice of them to do that they needed to they needed to <laughs> they don't have that many customers like us doing as us doing what we do uh, david is actually a good help for them that's why they facilitate most things for us. Uh, hmm. What do you think, Joe? Should the should Gort begin attacking the general while there's still a cleric there? Uh, yeah. I mean, e either that or he doesn't do anything, and he has a good defense, so he won't die from a hit. Wow, I was ex I was expecting that health bar to be like dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, like I was gonna do like two damage. Yeah, that's that's what I was expecting. Gort's just dangerous. Yeah. Hans is also like Hans is still level one, right? Yeah, no, he's level two. Poor Hans. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I can. Oh, we. Oh, yeah, we can change uh, the room for Centaur for. Uh... You just want me. Oh wait, Elliot healed. He's like the mannequin. Uh, damn it. No, but yeah, we can change low. They got this right? fast healing nonsense going on. I don't know, we'll Low's been low. healing me pretty good. Chris, on the other hand, hasn't. Okay, then we can take out Chris. Yes. Well, the Dark Priest's gone. Uh -oh. That'll be sure of that. Bye, Henri. Most definitely. 17 points of damage. That's a good thing. That's a sign of things to come. <laughs> surrounding this boy. Hits, go hits Gort, two points of them. Like, okay. Oh lord. Oh, poor boy. Well, at least now we have a heat axe for Gort. Gort's not wielding the heat axe, that's Taz. No, I know, eventually, Gort. Eventually. At least Kenny's doing decent damage now he has a new spear. I should not bring Codex up to that. Um. <laughs> no, you should not. Let's see Quartz damage. It's nice, it's decent. I'm probably gonna it's lose better. some units, like me, most definitely, but uh. I should be fine. Gong! Go! You called it! <laughs> Should I have Xylo up there instead? Yeah. But oh, look at that! Gong's putting it in work. Okay, this is why Chris is leaving. Because she she should have more MP. And she doesn't. <laughs> She's level 4, first of all. <laughs> she didn't keep up with people. Mostly because we didn't want to sacrifice her like Lo. Lowe just has a very sacrificable face, dude. Lowe just has enough movement to justify his existence. Let's fall just asleep, in general. The spell doesn't work. Yeah, of course it wouldn't, because he's a boss, right? Xylo's just gonna hang out there. Goodbye, goodbye, bird boy. 16 points of damage. Should've healed him, that's my fault. Balboroy, no! Don't worry, we still have Amon. <laughs> Reserve okay. forces. Just wanna throw Codex up here? No. Yeah! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> David! Why do you even have me as a strategic advisor? <laughs> you never listen to what I said. I'm sure I made someone really mad who's gonna watch this video later. Yes, me. Yeah, you. <laughs> nice. Ten damage. Yeah. That, that's the power of actual oh. good weapons. The second codex hang heads up here. Everyone, this dude's dodging. 
Ooh, the crit! If only someone else could hit him. If only anyone else could hit him. Literally anyone else. Oh, wait! Yeah! Oh, damn it, he healed. <laughs> Got me level three though. Yay, nice. Xylo, could you imagine how mad this boy is? Goodbye, Codex. <laughs> Alright, I, I had my fun. <laughs> <laughs> if you had created there, David, you would have deserved every bit of it. You you know he would have done like two strikes in a row if the game wanted to. Right. Okay. You, you know what I have to do now, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it was the plan from the start! Gong, defeat the general. <laughs> the the general must... Yeah. <laughs> the general must feel so humiliated. Perhaps you have the strength to rescue King Ramladu in Runefoss. Stop Dark Soul. Promise that you will free Runefoss, known as Protector. Oh, Runefoss, known as Protectora, before Dark Soul came. Mmm. That's specific. Elliot was a great warrior. Too bad he was our enemy. <laughs> but look, the, the traveling savage town of fish <laughs> man with horns. Yeah. Anything else in here? Like a secret little zone? You'd think there would be like a place in the middle of this field. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, just to. I was telling you something for this. Then we got into the heat of the battle. <laughs> the heat of the battle. Oh, we're about to switch some characters out, right? I mean, uh, yes. What do you have to say? Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Pele. Oh. I'll just relax, maybe train a bit. I'll be here if you need me. Oh yeah, Luke's here. Mm. This is pretty boring. When can I get invent blah? When can I get into the fight? Never. Yeah, let's get just Pele instead of uh Chris. Oh, we're keeping mm. May. Uh I mean she's doing more than Chris, I guess. I guess. Once we get the better character we can switch out for May. Gord becomes an even bigger threat, Gray. Why isn't Gord above Tau? Didn't she join before him? Can't, you're looking forward to playing Earthbound, right? The thing, oh wait, I can't equip the Heat X. Can't? Huh, why? I guess it's one of those items you use as spells. Oh wait, maybe it's like a maybe it's like the rings and it's stupid. Sorry, go. Nope, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've got to promote him first. Who knows? If you want to destroy Balsack, you should do it now before Ernest gets killed. He's in there fighting all alone, yelling about vengeance. Go back him up. Huh. Oh, see, you're. Your replacement. What's for what up, Joe? Yeah, that's the guy that was uh, saying vengeance yeah. on the other. That's the centaur. Thanks for the nothing. If you want weapons, you come to the right place. No, no, I'm fine. Well, actually, do they sell better things now? That one fight has happened? Yeah, why would they? Um, You were talking about how small your little games workshop was. Oh yeah, um, ba I basically finished it. Um, everyone, like people, got mad. I started preparing 
the guy who went on basically tour with uh, like a little fair that he that he was working at. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I found Domingo. Oh, sure. nice. Thing indeed. How rude. I'm Domingo at your service. <laughs> well, I know what to get rid of uh, May now. <laughs> Actually, David. Oh, it I could, seems... dude, I could follow him, damn it. I got he fell fast. Oh, yeah. Go he on. Acts, he acts as a spell. Yeah, that's what I said. It's probably Blaze was... 2. So now, so now Gort's a mage, that's what we wanted. Remember? <laughs> but it, like, it has, like, a, an attack thing. That's why I'm seeing... Oh, okay, that's why. I screwed that uh, up. It's because I'm sure. Sorry. Pink Pepper Kamasu, yeah. You having fun there, Joe? Uh, yeah, I'm just checking what the. It's over with a sheep pen. Because, yeah, Gort ranks up to a gladiator, correct? I have no idea. <laughs> it's been like 10 years since I played this game. Do you should remember. No, just kidding. Let me check. Uh, Gort. Uh, yeah, uh, David, uh, we. You can equip it to Gord once you promote him. Alright. When you promote him, he'll become a gladiator. It's not often that you see an old man become savage. <laughs> hey. Also, his battle sprite is a lot better. Oh, hey, he's an actual dwarf. Oh, he's actually a dwarf? Yes. Huh. But the other, oh. the other people were like, that's our grandfather, though, remember? Yeah, I mean, it, it's an elder, uh, elderly dwarf in your hometown of Guardian. They're like, huh. <laughs> I, it would be really, it's super interesting that these people are all these different races, except the only noticeable ones are centaurs and elves, because the pointy ears. And yeah. they're like, when in actuality, Gong is a giant, Gort's a dwarf. Diane's parents look human. Oh, Chris is some animal thing. This is an armadillo, I'm pretty sure. Hey, it good is. to see you again. It's me, Guns from Brindo. Look at the seam suit. He joins you. He joins you now, the David. The old doc finally got it working. Yeah, do you want me to get him in the army and replace someone? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get rid of Gort. Right. <laughs> no. Well, who do you want to get rid of? Hey. I already got rid of me. <laughs> oh, for who? Domingo. Oh yeah, you got Domingo here. Oh, then let me see who we can replace. This is my army. Oh, uh, let me see. Ah. <sighs> I'm partial to killing low. No, just kidding. Oh, it's hard. Our army's pretty good. Let me see if he's worth it. No. <laughs> you know, Domingo flies. We don't need two flying units. Isn't that right, Palbori? <laughs> uh... I mean, I know the actual answer is Hans, because he's not hitting very hard, but... I kind of want that arrow that hits so far away. Um... Oh, he uses lances? We have a lot of Lancers in the party. Uh, not in the party, I think this is the only one right now, but, uh... Oh, he's a Steam Knight! Yeah, a lot of these, like, he uses the Lance, he uses the Lance, she uses the Lance, he uses the Lance, Pele uses the Lance, Ken can use the Lance, apparently. It's a, it's a lot of Lances in this army. Yeah. Uh, let's see, starts level 8, 14 HP, 24 attack, 16 defense. Uh, 13 agility and 4 movement. Okay. Is that better than Pele? Is it worth throwing him in place of Pele? 
Yeah, that's why I would check. I don't know what sets. We're also about to get um that uh, Vengeance Man, so he's also going to get a Lance, right? Uh, yeah, let me see her. Just fill it. Hmm. I'll, I'll check Hans out for now, just so we have some new people to talk about. Yeah, uh, I don't know if... Uh, Hans. Well, I guess the question is, does Gantz, does Gantz here promote? Oh, yeah, he, he promotes. He's a Steam Bearer. He's his promotion. Cool, then, yeah, we'll just get Gantz strong enough to promote him and then see what he looks like. Yeah. Uh, I'm checking... Okay, so... HP-wise, Pele is better. Yeah, Attack yeah, well, is the same. Well, like I said, we're, we're gonna get way better units than guns, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just okay. we'll just get him to 10 and see what he looks like and pop him off. That, that's, that's completely fair. It's also that Pele is better in any... Like, Pele is better in any way, shape, or form oh, than guns. Look, the little queen is trying to defend her treasure chest. Fool that she is. <laughs> An elven arrow. Is this the thing I wanted to give to Hans? Yeah. Well, does it make you feel better, David, that uh, Pele seems to also be better than Vengeance Man? Oh God. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what's up. Oh, levels up, level ups are random. Great. What do you mean level ups are random? Do, what do they actually give you? Oh. Yeah, it's like rolling a d6, you mean? So, like, if I got lucky in a speed run, I would get, like, a ton of attack on Gong? <laughs> yeah. He already has a ton of attack. Alright, well, I found a steel sword, but apparently it's too good for me to use. Steel uh, for your character? Yeah. I assume I had to promote for that, which is like court. Yeah, it's from Thorsman Hero. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst weapon you can have as a hero. <laughs> so, wait, do you think when I become a hero, I can't equip the older crap? I think you you probably can. I'm just saying, like from like the level up things, the seal sword is the worst thing you can get. Okay, so like you had to, I had to talk to her twice to get her to say that. Some of this dialogue stuff is like really <laughs> questionable. Yeah. Like, this, that's interesting. Ah, whatever. Okay, I, I will keep with this guy. The ultimate Shining Force guy. It's not full of itself at all. Oh. This place doesn't look in great shape. Why are you up there, Domingo? <laughs> Domingo, no. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, doesn't look so bad. I'm sorry, what is yeah. this? Oh. Oh, the bingo doesn't have a rank up. Are there two exits? These are doors, right? Uh, they seem to be. Yeah. So there's. there's What's like, that right in front of the door? It's, it's a, it's a hellhound apparently, but uh. Doesn't like look like a head, does it? <laughs> like, is this something with like the air falling out the sides and all like that? Something that I'm like, no, that this is wrong. I just want to see what an eight magic thing looks like on this dude. The fact that he survives is what's uh, I'm testing there. See, look, they're they're perfectly weakened for people to get some levels off of them now. Yeah, let's see what Pele can do. Well, 
I was expecting yeah, his it's... his sprite there to look redder, but yeah, he's, he's not too bad. Ooh, nice. Well, but uh, well, you you sure wasted for a B, the uh, ATP. The eh. bingo, go. He is a mage. He's a mage, but I wasn't about to waste mana on one MP. One HP. But no, that's totally fair. Yeah. Oh. What's up? Lowe's a halfling. What? Where did I, these things are... All these D&D races, that's out of nowhere. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me. The main character is an human. He's actually an ancient. Please don't tell me that's true. <laughs> You're checking now, aren't you? <laughs> hey, that much is confirmed, David. You are a human. All right. At least we got that going. Uh, for us. Luke's a dwarf. Sorry, Luke. Look, yes. Oh, Luke, Luke. the guy. Oh, yeah. The the other the swordsman I got rid of. The other short guy. Yeah, but because he also can use axes. Is that the requirement to use an axe? You must be this tall. I don't know. We just let him use both swords and axes. He's like he, he's versatile because of that. Man, if I had known he could use axes, he'd probably use good court, isn't it? No, I think court is more offense. Uh, can can is a centaur. Dude, if you're I know see if you said he was anything yeah. else other than a centaur, I knew you were lying to me this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an elf. Uh, He's actually just a half elf. a person that they glued on top yeah. of half a horse. <laughs> Blows the halfling. Uh, Gong is a half giant. Court is dwarf. Maze I thought centaur. Gong was a full giant and his yeah. nephew was a half giant. No, no, Gong was is a half giant. That that the other one also said that. Ah. Uh. There's centaur. Uh, yeah, Chris is a Kianto or whatever that is. Dude, now I a, now uh, I'm for sure can thank like Gary Gygax for making this game because this is just definitely someone's D and D campaign. Yeah, Andrew is a human. Yeah. Arthur is a centaur. Thank goodness. We don't need wow. Arthur. Yeah. Okay, bird boys, I don't think there's any question. Diane is an elf. Yogurt's well, yogurt. I do have a question about the bird boys. How big are they physically? Are they like the size of birds? Like, what are we looking at here? Uh, Domingo is a magical creature. Whoa! Domingo is a uh, stir enough strong, in my opinion. Oh really? What did he do? He uh, did 16 damage of magic. One more. Hey. Oh okay. Bob Roy's a half falcon bird man. He's a he's a half yeah. falcon. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Both of them are half fa falcon. What's the other half? First. I don't like how that must have become. Me either. <laughs> we're we're getting answers to questions that shouldn't need asking. <laughs> okay, Kokichi, the guy that was building the thing, David, is, was a human. Well, good. <laughs> he he was going to be a wing knight. Uh, then, if he was promoted, he would be a sky lord. That's fine. Oh, I see. I see the the attraction of uh, the the guy, the one with the red nose, David. The center with the red nose. Oh, uh, Ernest. Yeah. Uh, he, he, what? From what I see, he seems to be. Uh, he has more health. He has more health. He starts with thirty-two health. Whoa! Does that be Ken? Yeah. I think or is Ken at thirty-four because of the bread, though. 
He just has less attack. What's Ken's attack? Uh, 29. But... Yeah, yeah, he is. He only has 20 attack. I mean, that's still with, really with good. With the Chrome for... Lance. What's his defense? 18. Sorry, you said he starts with a Chrome Lance? Yes. Wait. Uh, Pele starts with the bronze lance. He has 19 HP, 24 attack, but he has 20 defense. Smooth is the same, but he has more agility. Truly a decision that cannot be made lately. <laughs> I mean, you, you can change Pele f uh, for uh, Vankar, what you're mostly changing him for is the... Like, you'll be giving up a bit of defense for a lot more of HP. Well, arguably the best defense is a good offense, but uh... Well then, Pele is your man, he has four more points of offense with a normal bronze spear. Eh, I mean, it's also just the fact that like... Are we about to get like, two more centaurs? Uh, the I like I checked and uh, Erdu is well made. Seems it's not better than the other. I mean, I don't care what you say. There's a ninja somewhere in this game. He's replacing someone. <laughs> uh, there's Wusa. Uh, there's uh, Wusa. She's the samurai. Uh, yeah, that guy too. <laughs> Placing everyone. Actually, this game this, this game has a ton of characters. I might have missed like three of them already, but there's like still like another fifteen. I just I'm just kind of contemplating like like on the one hand I do want to keep like most of my starting units out of like familiarity and stuff, but. It would be fun to take some units for a spin, you know what I mean? Yeah, especially when you have like people like Sashi, when you catch him. It's like level 10, David. Like, you can't promote him, but he already has 48 attack. <laughs> Leave it to the but, Japanese to make the, the one like Asian element of this European game to be super OP. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing, the ninja, okay, David, the ninja has, has very bad stats, but he has the soul that kills brood, brood dragons instantly. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? The ninja has awful stats, yeah. but he has a weapon, Doom Blade, that can only be, I think it can only be equipped by ninjas. It has the spell the soul that can kill blue dragons instantly. Specifically blue dragons. It just says here his magic spell the soul kills blue dragons instantly. It also works well in Dark Soul. Huh. But like his stats are actual Like you, you like at starting David, a level ten. 11 HP, 10 MP, 10 attack, 5 defense, 5 agility, 5 movement. It's not good. Something to think about, I guess, yeah. yeah. Silo is great at preparing these things for someone else to get. <laughs> Uh, eventually we'll also get, uh, Centaur Archer, uh, an Assault Knight. An Assault Knight? Yeah, because it's like, uh... An Assault Knight, uh, David, is when, uh, Centaur uses full plate and then has a cannon. Good, we're doing that. Oh my god, he's so blocky. Oh! <laughs> But his weapons are still a, like his starting weapon is still an Elgon Arrow, David. Huh. It's the only range attack game. Why does Guns use a lance when he swings it like a sword? He I, likes it. I don't remember him looking like that. I remember him like being a square that like ran up and hit something, like like it was like a a train like animation. 
but that was just a giant metal man smacking someone smaller than him. <laughs> Well, uh, what's up? No, no, I'm just thinking what the Wigger gets. Oh, I'm pretty sure he just learns all magic. Uh, he, he learns four magics. Yeah. <laughs> All the good ones. Uh, Freeze, muddle, these. Yeah. See, David? There we go. You don't need the other guy. You just need the bingo. Yeah. Because at level 17, God. he gets Diesel. Xylos are really good at that. <laughs> oh, David, I'm now seeing what the Diesel spell does. I'm pretty sure it's like a low chance of success, right? I'll check it more, it just steals the enemy soul, and I'm like, great! Any insta-kill move, it's gonna, it's gonna be, like, only successful some of the time. Yeah, it has to be. Fight this. Oh, the other healer, Tarasu, is also halfling. Of course, that's, that's what halflings are good for. No other class is allowed. Oh, uh, here he is, David. He's a fair healer, but Gong and Low should be better by now. Gong, yes. <laughs> we get Aleph, which is a half fog. So that's not good either. Okay, go ahead. I was gonna say something about how uh, it's interesting that they have tanks. But they sure do come down easily. Like, wouldn't you expect a tank to be a little harder? Yeah, but you know, it's a bad game. Yeah. A leaping war wolf like, is stronger than any tank. Yeah, David, we're also fighting a war with, like, a Aleppo. To be fair, if this was real and a, a werewolf came flying out of the sky, I'm pretty sure people would be shitting their pants. <laughs> Actually, there's a sh there's a movie thing about that where there are uh, werewolves in war and stuff. It's actually kind of interesting. Well, that's a fun animation thing. <laughs> you see this? Uh... Well, Boy. there goes the Silver Knight. Why? You healed off at Xylo, but you're gonna hit her. Oh, God. He goes for Monk, Master Monk. Heal and Aura. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he also gets the one that heals everyone. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good drink right now. What? It, it's going to be the climb, David. Sorry, what? Gong gets... Uh, no, I was just checking when Gong gets... Uh, let's see where Lo gets it. Oh. Wait, Lo doesn't get it? Is it the heal number four that heals everyone? You know, it makes sense that the Hellhound wouldn't be that hurt by fire. Uh, that's true. Let's just put her in between that and this. Yes, kills an enemy soul may fail. Great. May fail. Yeah. It's not like the guide is like, 
don't use this dude, it's not worth it, so whatever. Hey, level 13. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, checking this. Ah, uh, okay, so that's how it works. Uh, David. Hi. For the... the killer thing? The... the thing you were saying that low heals everyone in the field? Yeah. That wasn't low. Oh. Lowe's is the only healer that actually doesn't get that. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, is there like a, there's, there's a secret door over there. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Maybe I have to go back in there at the later point of the game. Low gets healed, detox, slow, and quick. Quick. Gong gets healed, and at level 30, he gets the first level of Aura, which is the one that heals everyone. Sorry, you said what level? 30. Jesus, I don't think we're gonna get that level. I know, but for example, Tarasu, the, uh, the, other, the, the older healer, Gets uh, first level of aura at 16 and the second at 20. Basically, aura does uh, 50, uh, first level does 15 to up to five uh, five allies. Uh, fifth, then the second one does 15 to 13 allies. Third level does 30 to 13 allies. Sorry, this, these numbers are just going out my ear. I'm so, it's just not useful to me. Yeah, it, basically, no one else can heal everyone for all their health, except the last healer you can get. Oh well. <laughs> like, the one that's less closer to that is Chris, because she gets uh, aura at level 20. And, but she can only learn the first two levels. Well, there's a nun here. The power of light shines through you, Codex. Always try to be worthy of it. She's saying that just because I have this orb in my hand in the story. Maybe. Charge. Alright. <laughs> He's so angry. It's amazing, no one's been dead. <laughs> Sorry, this is too obvious for me to avoid. Hey! Don't hurt me, I give up! <laughs> oh! Okay, I'm really behind on the stream then. Yeah. Because I just saw the nun. You just saw the nun. We, we want to give um, Angry Boy the honor of killing Ball Sack, right? Uh, from a flavor perspective, we be good, but we also need to level up our actual units that we're going to use. Alex and a searching plate. That's fine. Hey, Ernest. I want to fight at the front. You're direct. Actually, what does a uh, scheme boy say? I'm raring to go. Alright. <laughs> go through this? No, why would I? Hey. Uh, I surrender. But... I just can't fight anyone. Rumors have it that you are invincible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, if, considering they killed me a few <laughs> times and I'm still here. What's the sign say? I don't shop. Oh, I didn't know that, uh... Xylo had the promotion? Uh... I guess, yeah. Wolf Baron. <laughs> what is it promoting people to Barons? I, I guess it has something to do with the fact that, uh... Once you're strong enough, you become rich. <laughs> you get land yeah, opportunities. I I like that the the freaking enemies are giving me advice here. <laughs> Don't go easy on him, he's tough. Hey guard. 
you're Ernest's friends, you must be okay. I'll open the door for you. Okay, I just restarted the stream and I'm like only Watch one second out. late now. Oh, you've just been loading real slow, huh? Yeah. Well, mm. we have a second person now here, David. Mm hmm. Hey, who must obviously be Dusty. Uh, at last we Probably. meet, Codex. Soon you and your misfits will have trouble us no longer. Yes, that is Balbazak, a commander of the Rufus army. You must destroy him. Yes, Doesn't that is he... currently Balsack. Let's Doesn't he go. look like an angry little... Look at him, he looks like an angry short Genghis Khan. Yeah. Kill Balsack, okay. David. He's a steel sword. Yes, we are going to steal that sword, David. Yeah. <laughs> Domingo, destroy! It's occurred to me that Domingo is still hittable after I just placed him there, because I'm thinking... He's on top of that. They're like, they can't touch him. <laughs> I know, Pathfinder rules, it's all. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because a bat came at me. <laughs> oh. What is up with bats sucking? Oh, no. They have the the blue bats. They have the evil puppet. What the heck? It has rings? Oh, I, mean, wait, I can. Oh, I'm already at the fastest speed. These things have rings, this isn't right. They better drop those rings. <laughs> My army is frontline mages and healers. It's working out pretty well, actually. <laughs> oh, it seems they're kind of resistant to magic. <laughs> You should have put him in. A, if you could, you could have put him in a diagonal position. Yeah, but I wanted to block him in case uh, he didn't die from oh, Henry okay. getting popped up like that. Well, we need to heal Henry. Yeah. Fortunately, we still have two healers in this party. Gord. Gord him up. Oh. Gord, how could you? Anyways, uh, what were we on about before? Your your games workshop and the population? Oh, uh, I mean... Uh, or, or was that like, pretty much finished? Yeah, it's just... No, it's just, there's a campaign I have is ongoing. It's most of that. Well, Domingo's pretty tough. Yeah, Domingo's a pretty good defense. Uh, what? Um, no, but yeah, uh, my my story is just ongoing, dude. If anything ever like something crazy happens, I'll tell you. Okay. Like beyond my players keep uh, messing up, there's not much. Hmm. I mean, everyone's players yeah. mess up, to be fair. Yeah, no. I know, but for example, uh, the current... Uh, they, they are now in a cliffhanger because of the current situation. Because basically what happened is they went to, to a dungeon and uh, I put a bunch of people in front of them because they took too long to get there. When you say people, like, do you mean like enemies or like people? NPCs, NPCs. Oh, like okay. groups of adventurers that want to go, and it seems that the dungeon had a thing that only let one group of people to go at once. Very video gamey, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just something I, I I was trying out with them. So basically, what they could do is they could either wait for all of them to go with them having like slight chances of succeeding on. Uh, getting through the dungeon, or, you know, bribe, talk to people, convince people they should go first. They decide to basically be passive and try to steal from them. Hmm. Uh, people start go getting upset when they try to steal from them. Yes, so, like, next would, session... Yeah. yeah. So, 
uh, unfortunately, I rolled like a 98, cleared the dungeon, and the dungeon was cleared. Which kind of sucked, but my players were okay with it. W one guy just want, like, wanted to steal something from them, like as a as a payback from, for wasting their time. Yeah. He wanted to steal something. That went as well as we could have thought, because he was caught, and now, like... He, w he was caught by the people that he was stealing from, and by the group that he previously tried to steal from. So it's now going to be combat between two, like a hurt party and a full health party versus our normal party, unless they can defuse the situation. Yeah, I was gonna say, they should try diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, the party that came from in there, David, is hurt. But, like, some of them are, like, monks that can still do very, uh, very much damage. Very uh, short amount of time. Hmm. Sorry, you said the entire party was monks? No, no. Uh, some of the, their party are monks because they're in like a, a oriental continent right now. Oh no, no, no! When you say their party, are you talking about the NPCs or your group? Yeah, yeah like there's two monks that uh, le uh, that managed to leave the cavern because like the party entered with seven people, only five came out. Oh, so two of them are dead. Yeah, two of them died in there. Hmm. Like, the dungeon is actually... The, the dungeon is, is like a water dungeon, David. There's one... Only one thing is on, uh, affected by the, the barrier. Only one thing oh, is affected? Only, no, only one thing is unaffected by the barrier, which is like a little lake. Uh, that is at the end of the dungeon, and that's how they knew if someone succeeded, because every time a group failed, the waters would turn red, and the bones of the people would just float down the river. Very thematic, yeah. Yeah. This was a very intentionally designed dungeon. <laughs> Whoever made it. Hi. Yeah, no, I mean in-game made it. Yeah, it's a, it was a cave of an inheritance. It was like a martial artist kind of like thing, mm. you know. From because I'm a wee and I read too much manga. Yeah. Wait. You ever Wait. see a, a person punch a tank away? <laughs> so... Um, manga? Yeah, a lot actually. Yeah, yeah. They do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've I've read manga. I know what things are. <laughs> Yeah, I've been around the block once or twice. Oh. You disappoint me, Bevel Worry. Give him a better weapon. He doesn't need a better weapon. He has a short sword. You can fly. <laughs> Give him a better sword, David. You can have uh, the one my character will get rid of soon. Fair enough. Well, at least it we're at least it's not like this Edge Knight, which is just yeah. a, a centaur but with black uh, black shield. You know, we have to remember he has a scar across his eye. Yeah, the Edge Knight. You have to remember that's important. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Actually, hurt in this group. Lois is my personal healer, that's what this has become. And yeah, Lo can get the highest level of heal and some buffs, but yeah, since he doesn't get our... I thought you I just said know. he can't get the highest level of heal. No, no, he can get the highest level of single heal. Ah. Aura, Aura is the one that heals everyone. Hmm. And the only one who can get the higher levels of Aura is the, that last halfling healing dude. That we don't have yet. So basically, the only healer we don't have is the one that can. <laughs> like the other one is uh, Chris. Chris can learn it also, and and Gong, but Gong is at level thirty, only the first thing. So. Yeah, again, that's something that's not gonna happen. Am 
Like, well, it's possible, but we would need to grind, which is something I, don't, I think we don't want to do. It's something we wouldn't do even if we were streaming. This is not worth the time. Yeah. Because it is a thing, like, actually doing this in this kind of game, it's just uh, starting a fight and then losing it on purpose. Or is fleeing on purpose. Yeah, I was gonna say, again. running away! <laughs> the jump star secret family technique. <laughs> Picks up, runs away! I can't wait for that heat X that I got, it was like a rare drop off lizard man, and I just got lucky. Some people spend, that's like a speedrun loser or whatever, you know? Oh no, it, it's all every time you defeat that lizard man. That specific lizard man. Yes. I'm just wondering. Like, I know this in, in the guide. In the guide to the weapon, it says when you're in this battle and you kill the lizard man, it, the DX will drop. So. This is when I was checking for better weapon people. Better weapons. You have this fascination with weapons, Joe. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? It makes, makes the game faster. Make game faster. <laughs> Use Xylo for it, everything. I mean, well, yes, but like, four more Xylos would hurt. If you were in your guide, do we learn how to do that? Yeah, they should They should teach me how to... <laughs> they, they should really teach me how to clone Xylo in that guide, but at, they don't. At the beginning of the game, we, we learned how to get rid of the starting party. Now we need to learn how to clone characters. We get three Taos, two Xylos. Three Tau- no, no, no. <laughs> Tau's the one we skip, right? <laughs> okay, we- you take two Henrys, two Domingos, one. three Xylos. I can guarantee four, there's four. some way to, like, duplicate Domingo since he comes from an item. Uh, four Gongs. Thirteen codexes. Yeah, it's been... Thirteen codexes is horrible, because the second any one of them dies, it's game over. Okay, then, uh... That's the yeah. hard mode of the game. You lose a single unit, game over. Everyone gets <laughs> a big depression. <laughs> okay, I truly know now, David, how the perfect party. Okay, so we clone Gong about eleven times. There we go. Yeah, that, that was the plan, right? Yeah. Eleven Gongs and and one Codex. But there it is. That's I'm sure that's that's if we ever get popular, someone's gonna look back on that. Come on, game. What the heck are you doing? Uh, they're, they're going to make a mod for the game. No, I was gonna say they're gonna make a Dojin. <laughs> No, David, I really want the mod to the game, which is just every character is gong, but with like slightly different accessories. Like, what I, is I gong? Won't but with, <laughs> I mean, what is like, it's gong, David, it's but gone. for every character they're replacing, it's their nose. Because everyone has very distinct noses. Yeah, they do for some reason. <laughs> no, yeah, for example, if <laughs> if Gong was, like, instead of Gong, if we got Gong instead of Ernest, we'd just have Gong with a scar. That's some mod work it's gonna take. Yeah. I, like, David, I cannot imagine just having, can you imagine, like, Codex gets hurt a little bit, Gong, like, three Gongs approach to heal him. Whoa, what's that in his hand? That looks spooky. Seems like a... Uh, it seems like a falchion. No, the thing in his front hand. Oh, arm guard. You tell me those are supposed to be his fingers. Mechanical hand. <laughs> we have a steam knight, dude. Yeah. 
I bet you're about to, uh... I guess he just sits there and takes it. Um... <laughs> like... Yeah, mechanical hand, you start laughing, I look at, uh, I, I look at our tank and I'm like... I mean... Yeah. This fight has been good for getting levels. Hey, freeze level 2. Yeah. Domingo. Let's get rid of this thing. Domingo's leveling up so fast, because he can fly. Yeah, the flying is actually super good. Yeah, I could have gotten Balbori more experience, but eh. We have to, it's level 10. This is gonna be like a weird setup, because we have to like make it so Ernest can like kill this guy without getting a one-shot by him, which I'm sure is gonna happen. So we have like a healer on hand for this. Let's let's start weakening him. <laughs> oh wait, okay. He I'm sure he won't leave this post, because if he does, my character could run up the thing. Like I'm sure he's programmed to not move. Watch him be able to range. Well, Cans is doing pretty good. Let's get you out of here. Ken is now one of our best characters. Great. Ken, or Ken always was. Except True. for Gong. So let's see how much she actually hurts him for. He also heals a lot. Yeah. He missed. Oh well. Cowboy will just. Cowboy, go get experience. Actually, I can guarantee it probably would move up here because then I still couldn't get across. If Balbazaka uh, kills Ernest in one hit, we're gonna have to kill him with like a, a healer by proxy. Gone. Does it <laughs> You say, uh, you say frozen. You're right there, uh, uh, yeah, no, I was just thought my brother was trying to give advice on how to play in here. It's my. Now, like, free someone, then detonate. Huh. Okay, just in case he decides to jump behind Codex and it's nothing personality of him. That'd be amazing if you can jump that far. Yeah. Run, Tao, run. <laughs> oh, there's, there's like stuff over here. Weird. Domingo goes in his own adventure. Alright, let's see how badly he dies. I can't believe you wanted to fight this guy alone. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool! Oh, he's gonna get this shit right. No, <laughs> what? Let Balroy attack, David. You can do it. You... you gave him a short sword. No, he had his own short He supplied his own weapon. Yeah. Forgot. It's the Steve weirdest Knight. animation. He just, like, smacks him. You ever fight someone with a lance move. and instead of getting impaled by the lance, they just smack you like you're a bitch? <laughs> Puncturing is for losers. Yeah. Don't worry, Gord. You're almost when we promote you. You getting that? <laughs> you're getting that blaze. Yeah, it is going to be tricky to make Ernest uh, kill him since he heals. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll weaken him up. <laughs> go on, go. Gong triple crits him. Okay. Gong hits him for fifty damage. The secret. <laughs> The secret one punch. Yeah, there's this. Yeah, can I search this? No. Domingo's great adventure. Goodbye, Gong. No, he survives. No! <laughs> Gong! He's almost ready to become a master monk. Yeah. That was Which a crit, by the way. That noise yeah. you heard, that's some critting. Ooh. Yeah, Dusty, that's the thing, Dusty, Dusty tells us not to level yeah. them up yet, but I am so hyped to level them up. So you're, you're thinking of promoting them up, yeah. Yeah, promoting. It, it's just so hype, and we aren't doing it yet because it's mechanically not better, but we probably should just do it. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, we should probably promote Xylo. 
guilty of me. Because I almost, almost level 15. Probably should promote him. Right, at this point, I could just wait for him to level up one more time. Yeah. No, it's a thing. Uh, okay, I'll say it this way. Ooh. I think we should. If Ken hits him, he might kill him. I'm, I'm hoping not. It's a centaur thing. No, nope, he critted. <laughs> Twenty-three points of damage. Great. Ken wanted that. <laughs> yeah. For his centaur brethren. Uh, Codex, okay, take the ship, but please spare my life, please. Uh, no. Your eyes are red. <laughs> It's all the dank weed. But oh. Hey! I kinda wanna see if he, like... Like, I'm, okay, I'm, the... I'm thinking Dark Souls I... will show up right now just to kill him and be like, you're next, and then leave. No, I think the other guy won't join you if you say yes. He already did join me, he's right there. I think, can't he leave? He can leave, I don't care, I don't, I'm not gonna use him. Thank you, take True. the ship, go after Dark Soul. Ball Bazek, you betrayed me. No, no, please, Dark Soul, leave me in peace. You disgust me, Bob. Yeah, right. Leave you. I was right. I will leave you in yeah, pieces. Right. Forgive me. Too late, worm. <laughs> I am dying, Codex. You must kill Dark Soul. Free Runefoss. Take the ship, as that fool said. You will not survive the voyage. It was literally that shining. Like, the shining force is a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah. Thus did the Shining Force free Eren Vital and set sail for a land of legend. <laughs> well, that's, uh, uh... We got a whole chapter done in a stream, Joe. Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, but one, one, th one thing about promoting. Yeah. I think we should promote some now, because, uh, to level them up again, so then we can promote other people and to level those up. Hmm. After... I don't think we should promote them all at the same time. Oh yeah, obviously. After a week at sea, Sentry spotted a horde of monsters approaching the ship. Oh. That's not good. Isn't this cute? No. No. It's not... Oh. Like, they just started us in combat. Play. No, okay, before I, I turn the stream off, let's... Save. Save. Like, let's... I'm sure... The stairs down there are let's an exit save. point. Right here. My hero, Tiag. Tiag, my hero. Let it be my turn already. <laughs> Conches. I might as well get experience. Like, see, they're, they're not dangerous. This is gonna be a fight for next time. Yeah, yeah. Fight, I guess. Gotta pad those sweat. Man, Codex is slow, dude. It was such a tub. Well, so we're more surrounded than I thought we were. Oh, why is Codex so very slow? Let's get out of here. Yes, I want to retreat. There we go, that's what I want. Hundred and twenty coins. So let's promote Ken, right? Oh yeah, Gong died. Joe? You're muted yourself. Oh, I could promote myself. Hmm. I guess we'll promote Ken. Oh, he's a paladin now.
Oh, they got custom dialogue. Oh, we'll do that next time. Let's just switch this out before I forget. next time.